You guys ready for bed? Yeah, man. Pumba, you ready for bed? Mm, my God, it's early. Good morning. Coming to you from a very excited state of mind here this morning. We're in the middle of the ocean. Myself, Mr. Damon Olsen from Nomad Tackle. Mr. Nick Jones, cameraman from Nomad as well. We're out here and we've come out. We're looking for big yellowfin tuna. It's first light, straight ahead of us. I was like, I think that's a fish. And there's big yellowfin launching everywhere. We're out here to film some new lures that the guys at Nomad are working on. Oh my God, we got tuna right here. I'm real excited, I'm actually shitting myself. I'm gonna put the goey down, Nico's gonna film. Hopefully we can hook one or more. Pretty good sign, I've been out here a lot looking for them. Haven't got one yet and we found them straight away. So, fingers crossed boys, we'll be on today. They're launching, oh we got the full, God, so full spread out. We got DTXs out, we got Mad Maxes out. We're gonna hook up, so. Bullshit. Oh, right here, man. Look at that foil. Far out. Man. Oh, nice what fish. The hell? That'll wake you up in the morning, eh? Hey? Seeing that. How we didn't get nibbed then is beyond me. They're yeah. like launching around the boat. Big yellow fin. The boys are up there just sitting down talking shit on the troll. Boom. Boom. Very weird though, fighting a fish on the old electric reel for, for me. I thought I heard this weird noise, you know, I like didn't know what We were all was. just up there oblivious. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> this is on the um, Max, eh? Yeah, Mad Max. Are you controlling the boat with the remote? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's heck on here. Bitch. Oh yeah, there, there he is. Woken up. Out. Are, we, are we game to call an estimate here? That's a fish. <laughs> this is about where I'm going? It's definitely a fish. Yes, and it's a tuna. I legitimately thought yeah. it was a whale at the start. <laughs> Heaps of weight though now, boys. Yeah. Got... It, we, we knew it was going to happen on the electric, didn't we? Like, yeah. We've come out and we're like, hey, there's only two of us on the boat. We're going to use this thing to like just clear the lure close to the back of the boat. And of course, yeah. <laughs> but it's a fish, we're on. It's a fish. It's a good start. Yep. Yeah, we've been driving around looking. We're about to leave, eh? It's like, well, let's just have a look on this current line. Come on, sashimi. There's a fair bit of sashimi in this one, I reckon. That's a decent, decent chunk of a fish here. Oh, yeah. It's a big Mad Max too. Yeah. A well, little bit different it. for old Brooksy. <laughs> We actually didn't even know we were on. We're all sitting up there gas bagging. And here we are. I don't think I've ever fought a big fish on a um, on an overhead. <laughs> Only spin. There he is. Hello, boys. That's a big yellow fin. That is awesome, Brooksy. On the, the Mad, Mad Max. Max. Won't do it in the mouth, but oh, Ooh, yeah. geez, you're doing oh, well holding me, mate. He's so heavy, man. Just drilled that thing right in close to the boat. Oh. Awesome. Just get a big hold up. Ah! Yeah. 
That looks so good. Keep holding him. <laughs> Keep holding him. That's awesome. Nico, hold him, hold him. <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's... Jesus, that thing's easy. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. you were just stitching me up. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, Wow. Yeah, nice. Well done, mate. Thanks, boys. Oh, so good. I'd high five you, but nah. <laughs> That's the blood on it. We want to. We better bleed him out properly, I guess. Yeah. Can we get stand up for it, Ruffy? Go for it. Whoa! <laughs> He's not small, boys. Do you know how much sashimi the boys are eating? What? <sighs> I got to put him down. Yeah. That's serious. Oh, All right. Incredible fish. Look at that thing. Big sickles. Lucky we had you here to manhandle him, mate. <laughs> Wow, that yellow fin spewed up a few little weird bits of bait. Check this out. We've got a couple of little triggers and that thing. I don't know if that's like, I don't know what that is, but it's a pretty cool looking thing. Let him go. Got the Mad Max, we got a DTX on that rod, and the whole aim of this game is driving around, covering ground, and this is the perfect lure for it. We control from four knots all the way up to 15 with this. You ready? Alrighty, let's, do it. let's roll. Alrighty, we've just whacked that lure in the water. You can see the lure is probably no more than 10 meters behind the boat. And what I want to show you guys, look at that tip. This thing's swimming like crazy already, very close to the boat. You can run it as close or as far back as you want. Wow, Nico! Look at that! That's a fucking pretty good thumbnail right there, bro! Look at that! Every session I've been out there, we've been getting closer and closer and closer to getting these fish. And hopefully we can get to a point where we can get them on a consistent basis because these yellow fin, they're incredible, incredibly big fish, amazing to catch, amazing to fight, but they're also incredibly good eating. So 24 hours from getting back in, in the boat, I was around at my mate Reuben's place just around the corner and I supplied the fish, he supplied the cooking prowess and he cooks up a storm for us. We'll show you, I'll show you the picture of us doing the last time. Mate, generous for me is a hell of a lot. Oh yeah. Twenty seconds each side. Wow. You should salt bay it from like up here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I guess that's also one of the amazing things about being a fisherman is you catch a fish like this, you catch any fish and you can provide for your family. And in this case, when it's a fish of that size, you can provide for your friends and their families as well. So it's a pretty cool thing and being able to share a meal something you've put time and effort into and you've looked after this fish and you've got this amazing 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 food and being able to share it with people and the feeling you get and just from seeing them appreciate a fish like that is pretty bloody good so massive appreciation for for a fish like that and they're just such incredible animals really bloody cool hope you guys have enjoyed this video for me really cool to be able to go out here a long way out of middle east from where i live and to catch a fish of that caliber so in the immediate future when the weather allows that's what i'm going to try and do next goal top water in the edge water that's what we want to do right now i'm editing my computer fell off my bed last night 
and smashed the screen. So I plugged in my PlayStation monitor and it's worked. Um, that's another thing. We have been doing a little bit of streaming on Twitch. We've been streaming both playing the PlayStation and also streaming a bit of fishing. We had a session um, catching snapper and jews the other day and it's a really good way to interact with you guys live and in real time you guys can talk write me questions write me whatever you want and i can interact with you on the spot so if you're interested in that kind of stuff you can come and follow i'll put the link in the description below it's just twitch.tv slash froth cafe 2 i think it is it's the same as my instagram account if you could jump over to that that'd be great give us a follow if you want to subscribe you're more than welcome to you don't have to, but if you do, it supports me and supports what I do. So the whole thing with that, I figure it's a really cool way of doing something as opposed to having a Patreon account or something like that. So I really enjoy it. As much as I enjoy making YouTube videos for you guys, it's another cool, fun way of um, bringing you guys fishing with me. So yeah, that's about it for now. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and... With a bit of luck, the weather will come good and we'll see you out there real soon. Cheers, guys.